A day after the president signed uh, the landmark Bangsamoro Organic Law, the Senate is vowing to support its full implementation. Philippine Star reporter Paolo Romero now joins us live from their newsroom in Manila to talk more about this. Uh, Paolo, it's, it's now law. The president has signed the BOL. What are the senators now concerned about when we talk about its implementation? Uh, Roby, uh, yeah, the BOL is uh, two years old and the senators are saying that they will make sure that the law is carried out and they will also closely watch on how it is being implemented. Senators uh, Ralph, Recco, Ralph Recco and uh, Juan Miguel Subiri are, are, are looking at um, focusing on how the law is going to be funded. Uh, the BOL stipulates that the uh, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao will be getting about 100 billion annually. But surprisingly, uh, there is no appropriation for that in the 3.8 trillion budget submitted by the Department of Budget and Management to Congress. Uh, the proposal is for the 2019 uh, fiscal year. And uh, I, the Senators uh, Recto and Subi are saying that Obviously, the work is cut out for them. They'll be looking for some items in the proposed budget to realign and put for this uh, new Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Another concern for them is the uh, decommissioning of forces. It's stipulated, it's not in the law, but it's part of the agreement in 2014, the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bangsamoro, wherein once the law is enacted, uh, there will be a certain period of time, uh, stages, on where the um, military force of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front will be decommissioned, meaning uh, their arms will uh, be laid down and uh, there will be a process on, on uh, disbanding uh, their military component. But before everything else, uh, Subiri is looking at the plebiscite. Uh, he hopes that it will push through in November as uh, Congress uh, wants it uh, it done. Okay. Roby. Do they have any concerns about that plebiscite? Are they are they uh, confident and certain that this will pass the plebiscite? And for that matter, are they still concerned about any potential questions before the Supreme Court? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, as regards to the pleb plebiscite, Roby, um, they're estimating about. There are a total about of, of over a million, maybe 1.8 million registered voters in the ARMM. But uh, they're concerned that since this is not really, you know, a more, how do I say this, uh, a more political uh, exercise, the plebiscite, they fear, they are worried that the turnout will be uh, lower. And uh, also, there's an issue still on funding that plebiscite. It's, again, not in the proposed budget for 2019. So they're either looking at... Uh, passing uh, a supplemental budget or maybe using uh, the savings of the commission on, on elections. And uh, the, the plebiscite is estimated to cost around uh, 900 million or a billion, they say. And another question on the funding is on, on how it will be used because uh, the amendment put in by uh, Recto was that 40% of the funding of the total budget should be used for development uh, projects, but it was removed by the Bicam bicameral conference committee. Now, they also expect that this uh, BOL will be questioned in the Supreme Court, but uh, they're just hoping that uh, with all these amendments uh, they put, it will be uh, constitutionally compliant or it will be upheld by the Supreme Court. Roby? Okay, Paulo Romero joining us from the Philippine Star newsroom in Manila.